Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is, uh, what in the world? Today, <laughs> okay, <laughs> the word Jew is up here with a, I never, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, <laughs> it's covering up the date. I know what day it is. It's December 24th and it's 8.48 a.m. It's Monday. I'm just going to do a quick update on this report from Israel because, you know, President Trump with is ordered troops to be withdrawn from Syria. And he's had a general and some others put in their resignation over it because they're saying, no, no, we need to stay over there and whatever. Well, this is what Israel has to say about it. The IDF. That's the Israeli Defense Force Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot said Sunday that U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Syria shouldn't be exaggerated as it has little bearing on Israel's activity in the region since the military, the Israeli military, has been operating independently in the war-torn country for years. Eisenkot pointed out that the Iranians had a vision, not, not like we know of a vision, but, you know, they saw that they, like they were, um, all right, let me back up and read it the way they have it written. The Iranians had a vision where they had 100,000 fighters in Syria, including ground troops, Navy, and intelligence unit, as well as a number of outposts along the Golan Heights. Over the past two years, we've been able to thwart these plans entirely on our own. However, we still haven't been able to destroy the Iranian capabilities to establish regional hegemony. That's a word I, ha I had to look that up. H-E-G-E-M-O-N-Y. Hegemony. That's uh, leadership in an area to establish a regional hegemony in Syria. He added that Israel continues to mount airstrikes to prevent advanced Iranian weapons from being smuggled into Lebanon. All right, let's see what they, if there's anything more worth reporting on. Click here. Okay. Um... I hate doing that because you get so many ads, you know. All right, it says, We've poured enormous resources into it. All the while, the average Israeli citizen wasn't even aware of it. Unfortunately, the public was exposed to the situation after the Russian plane was shot down during an Israeli attack. He added, referring to the incident last September when a Russian military plane was downed by a Syrian anti-aircraft missiles, or did I say an? Let me restate that. When a Russian military plane was downed by Syrian anti-aircraft missiles, as they sought to attack Israel Air Force jets during an airstrike in September. The Iranians had a vision where they had 100,000 fighters Okay, that part was in the first part where they had a vision of where they had 100,000 fighters in Syria 
Eisenkot continued, including ground troops, Navy, and intelligence units, as well as a number of outposts along Golan Heights. Over the past two years, we've been able to thwart these plans. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to click on this little link right up here and copy it, and I'll put it in the description box. There's a video on here that you can watch and some others that have to do with the United States. So if you're interested, you can click on the link in the description box and go to this website and then click on their links or these videos and learn more. Okay, with that I will say Merry Christmas to those who are celebrating it. Have a wonderful day to those who are not. Or a wonderful night wherever you live. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices so we can stay connected. All right? Until Jesus comes for us. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.